let's discuss contrastive rhetoric the interference of first language on second language and its significance for the teaching of english writing writing to uh, writing to students of second language we have 1960s has seen uh, many debates regards the structural influence of um l1 first language on on second language and in this regard we have seen debates covering areas of like if if effective first language learners have good habits in first language then they are likely to transfer these good habits to the learning of second language so this is seen as a cultural phenomenon like students from uh china or singapore or indonesia or malaysia may have different responses to english as compared to students from pakistan so each language has its own rhetorics its rhetorical functions its rhetorical conventions which are unique to it so actually applied linguists study the influence of first language rhetorical conventions on the second language so th this this discussion is fraught with so many controversies and debates but we have seen useful evidence uh, and we should not neglect this evidence in why because as language teachers we need to be aware of which areas are actually affected by first language which which syntactic lexical or morphosyntactic areas are actually influenced by the first language on the second language this may help us see the errors or habits of students learning in a much more clear manner so as i said before the knowledge of rhetorical functions contrastive rhetoric is important for language teachers and it should be made part of their continuous professional training programs and the teachers should be should not only be aware of the formal properties affecting second language learning but also um, uh, the content strategies as well for example uh, it's it's likely and this is this is what i observe as a language teacher in my classes that most students complain that their thought processes actually happen in first language and then they translate those ideas into english fair enough but we can offer support and we need to understand some of the cultural and educational uh, constraints affecting students because a student studying in english medium schools student uh, studying in government uh, state run schools may have different responses to english because of cultural uh, reasons because of educational reasons so this is what is what needs to be understood by the language teachers so students may be affected by the rhetorical patterns rather than their individual inadequacies and this is what we need to understand as language teachers so in this regard we can use different activities different strategies for example we can collect a range of assignments which would serve as a needs analysis to understand uh, students wants strengths weaknesses and this way we can personalize our teaching to the needs wants and strengths and weaknesses of students so we should as language teachers plan our lessons effectively and offer opportunities for activating and expanding schema of the students considering the contrastive rhetoric debates